cause vote cause number five five four one one. It's a reciprocal involving um, Don Holman Weigel. Um, Mr. Berry, before you begin, have you heard from Mr. Weigel? I have not since um, the continuance was granted. Uh, we've back. had some email back and forth, but um, conclusion on anything. But you have you you have not heard from him and have no indication that he was intending to appear today. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. You may proceed. I place the board. Judith Berry for the Commission for Lawyer Discipline. This is a reciprocal disciplinary action <clears throat> pursuant to Part 9 of the Texas Rules of Disciplinary, disciplinary Procedure based on John Holman Weigel's professional misconduct and suspension in Oklahoma. The petition for reciprocal discipline was filed with the board on December the 5th, 2014, and the order to show cause was issued by the board on December the 10th, 2014, requiring the respondent to show cause within 30 days of the order why identical discipline should not be imposed in Texas. The respondent was served by personal service on December <clears throat> the 30th, 2014 with the petition and the order to show cause by John Patterson, a private process server. The original proof of service was filed on January the 15th, 2015. Um, there was an order granting the respondent's motion for continuance was signed by the board on January the 26th, 2015. On April the 5th, 2012, a complaint was filed in the Supreme Court of the State of Oklahoma and the matter styled State of Oklahoma XREL OK, Oklahoma Bar Association <coughs> Complainant versus John Holman Weigel, respondent OBAD 1910 SCBD 5864. On August 21, 2012, an amended complaint was filed in the same matter. And on May 6, 2013, a report of the trial panel was filed in the Oklahoma Supreme Court before the Professional <coughs> Responsibility Tribunal in this matter. On February the 4th, 2014, an attorney disciplinary proceeding was filed in the Supreme Court of the State of Oklahoma in the matter style State of Oklahoma XREL Oklahoma Bar Association complainant versus John Holman Weigel, respondent SCBD 54, I'm sorry, 5864, that states in pertinent part as follows, having reviewed the matter de novo, we suspend the respondent from the practice of law for two years. On February 24th, 2014, the respondent filed a petition for rehearing and that was denied on March the 31st of 2014. At this time, like to offer petitioners exhibit number one which is a certified copy of the complaint filed in the Supreme Court of Oklahoma in the matter. Exhibit two is a certified copy of the amended complaint filed in the same matter. Exhibit three is the certified copy of the report of the trial panel. Exhibit four is a certified copy of the attorney disciplinary proceeding filed in the Oklahoma Supreme Court under cause number SCBD 5864. Exhibit 5 is a certified copy of the respondent's petition for rehearing filed with the Oklahoma Supreme Court. Uh, exhibit 6 is a certified copy of the order denying petitioner's uh, petition for rehearing. And Exhibit 7 is the original certificate from Blake A. Hawthorne, clerk of the Supreme Court, dated April the 8th, 2015, which indicates that respondent is licensed and authorized to practice law in the state of Texas. <clears throat> was admitted? Yes. The, may I approach? You may. The commission seeks um, a two-year suspension as reciprocal discipline. Any questions from any members of the board? I see none, so I will be on that. We'll advise you of our decision shortly.